It's another series of eyes in the skies. Mysterious Colorado drone swarms are puzzling the police and spawning conspiracy theories. Of course, if the government and the police don't know what these things are, you can imagine how the security of the area falls into jeopardy. Well, how is it that the government and the police don't know what these things are? They should just down one, get them down, and see where it links to. Now, this is, uh, has been going ongoing, and it's just a systematic thing where they're over Colorado and uh, gridding in a grid pattern three hours every night from 7 until 10 o'clock, uh, making uh, flights, trying to examine something. Some of these have even gone peeking into people's homes through their windows. I mean, that is ridiculous. If I ever saw that around my house, I would definitely try and catch one, bring it to the authorities, and have them examine where it links to. Now, while U.S. authorities apparently remain in the dark as to where these things are from, uh, people online have already come up with a number of theories, conspiracy and otherwise. Well, of course, it's still a mystery. Authorities in several Colorado counties moved to investigate the origins of these unusual drone sightings, the unidentified flying objects reported by local residents during the week, according to Fox 31 reports. Washington County Sheriff John Stivers explained to the media the drones were unusual, seen flying in formations, he says here, between 6 and 10 p.m. He says, I had reports of anywhere from 6 to 12. One person believed it to more than 12, close to 30 drones. It seemed like several of them were flying together or in three or four pairs, in groups, that is. Uh, now, according to their uh, Facebook announcement, 20th of December, 9.15 p.m., Phillips County Sheriff's Office uh, announced, We are aware of and have been investigating the multiple reports of drone sightings in the county over the last week. Deputies were out all night this evening, along with the Yuma County SO tracking these drones. Tonight we tracked over 16 drones between the two counties. We believe that the drones, though startling, are not malicious in nature. Well, wait a minute. If you have them peeking through people's homes, of course they're malicious in nature. That's an invasion of privacy, let alone, you know, they're on their invasion, invading their property. How can you allow these things peeking into people's windows? That's ridiculous. Of course it's malicious. What are they doing over people's property, making a grid pattern? What are they examining? That's totally suspicious. Now, the sheriff's office is followed up on leads and communications with state and federal agencies to pinpoint the exact nature to their activities. As more information comes available, we'll keep you informed, the Sheriff's Office says. If any of these drones fly onto your property or are looking into windows, which has been reported being done, he says, please call the communication center immediately so a deputy can respond to your location. If you happen to come into possession of one of these drones, please contact the Sheriff's Office so we can conduct a forensics evaluation of the drone to identify the owners and take the appropriate actions. No kidding. I, w I should hope so. So, um, the drone instructor, Angel Andres Rosado, seems to think that the sheer number of drones likely meant that it's some kind of a mapping operation. So, yeah, but look, uh, don't they have to have some kind of a permit to be flying up there? What happens if you have a, a helicopter or a plane up there? You know, the, uh, he says, when you hear one drone, somebody just got a new toy for Christmas, they don't quite know the rules yet, but when you hear 12 and they're flying information, someone's doing some professional work out there, that's my personal opinion. Yes, I should think so. Something strange is going on, intentional and systematic. Every night, three or four hours a night, in the grid pattern. He also remarked that companies performing such tax tasks would require special waivers to fly their drones information or to perform these activities at night, because it's after sunset. The sun sets around 5.30, 6 o'clock. So this is a, it's a night operation. I guess they don't want to be seen, but they, they are seen. So uh, it's a night operation instead of day. If you wanted to have 
some kind of, um, you know, reliable um, information on the land, uh, land resources, uh, you know, whatever, mapping, you would think that they would do this during the day, not at night. That's very strange, very strange. So, um, yeah, they need special waivers. They didn't get them. Uh, so they're trying to keep this secret. That is very strange. Um, and he says, uh, they're flying their drones in formation and performing these activities at night and that certain waivers would spare them the need to notify the FAA before every flight. Okay, but they don't have those waivers, otherwise the government and the local authorities would know about it. And he said, when you get a night waiver, it basically just means you have permission to fly the drone within certain stipulations, but it usually does require you to notify the FAA of every single flight. I should think so, because the FAA wants to know what's up in the air. What happens if you have, you know, a private aircraft or, uh, um, you know, uh, helicopters up there? Now, according to the Denver Post, similar drone sightings are reported in one Nebraska county as well. They added that while the U.S. Federal Administration, Drug Enforcement Administration, and the U.S. Army Forces Command had no information on these quote unquote mystery flyers. Online gossipers, online gossipers already came up with their theories. It has to be the work of a Mexican drug cartel, one commenter on the Post website said. No, no, it's obviously aliens from a far off galaxy, another replied. Perhaps it's the History Channel looking for lost cities, another replied. Or ranchers trying to track their cows, another replied. Others theorize according to the newspaper. So it's all types of theories, but still, it's a night flight, systematically every night, and a grid pattern, and you need to do this. You need waivers and permits. And obviously for them to, you, they know, obviously they should know. Having drones and grid patterns every night, they should know very well that it's, uh, you have to have a waiver, but they don't get it because they don't want to show anybody their uh, intention of what they're doing. Very strange. Okay, this is on Sputnik News. And as the article says, this is also going on over in Nebraska. Now, I guess if we do look over our heads, uh, of course, it's difficult to see these at night. But uh, if we do sky watch, I'm sure we'll be able to find a lot more things going on. The thing is, why are they going on? To me, it's definitely suspicious. And if it's suspicious, it's also malicious especially when they start peeking in through people's windows. That is uh, ridiculous, ridiculously uh, dangerous, let's put it that way. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.